Death is that inevitable end for everybody. And that's because it's the consequence of Adam's transgression. Death passed upon all men, for all did sin. When it says have sinned, it did sin. A lot of people living like this trial isn't over. They act like there's still an ongoing trial and each case will be settled different. No, it was over when Adam fell. Death passed upon all men for all his sin. That's why, if you look at Hebrews 9 and verse 27, it's not just about death being appointed. But here in Hebrews 9 and verse 27, there's something more important there. And, and that is the question of why did Christ die? Was it because he was a sinner? Was it because he was made a sinner? No. That too was by appointment of God because it was necessary that he, to be the mediator for that ransom that we read about in Job 33, for that to be effectual, it was necessary that he taste death. And the reason the scriptures use taste death concerning Christ is not that he his death was any less than the transgressors he came to save as far as physical death, but it wasn't to be permanent. He tasted it. He came, he died, he rose again. It was not possible that his soul should see corruption. 